in this video we are going to see a definition of a signal and different types of signals that exist So signal is nothing but a pattern which will have some information in it. Let me give an example. <coughs> I will consider a simple RC circuit excited by a voltage source like this. There will be a current I flowing and that will develop a voltage across capacitor Vc. Now in this case, I can have a pattern or a graph for supply voltage, supply current and capacitor voltages. So in this case, Vs, I, and Vc can be shown or can be represented against the time t. So I can say Vs, I and Vc are signals that can be plotted against time t so here we have taken an example of electrical system it is not necessary that signal can only be represented in electrical system it could be in a biological system it could be in any other physical system as well for example Electrocardiogram ECG is once again a plot of our heartbeat against some parameter or you can say time t. So that can also be a signal. So in a biological system, I can consider ECG is an example of a signal. Let's take an example which is a bit different than that of electrical and biological system. Let's consider there's a cricket match and there are so many uh, things that we analyze. So normally uh, we could see uh, there is a graph of run rate. So it is something like this. Number of overs and then run rate. And we have a normal graph like this. So, what it's saying there are number of overs bold, and in between the overs, also I can decide or I can check what is the run rate of that particular team who is batting. So that can also be considered as a signal. Similar to this, I can have one more graph that we can see. And that graph is nothing but overs. And how many runs are scored in a particular over. So the graph, something like this we have.
So let's take an example. This is 5, this is 3, 8, 8, like that. And let's take this is over number 1, 2, 3, 4 is a maiden over 5, like this. So here I'm having overs, and on y axis, I'm having number of runs scored. So that can also be considered as a signal. So there are various types of uh, signals we can see, not only in a one particular domain, but each and every domain. For example, we can have a graph of uh, last year uh, temperature against days. So that can also be considered as signal. But for our analysis, we normally uh, consider the signals which are generated from the electrical system. Another definition I can give for the signal is signals are mathematically represented as a function of some or other independent variables. So basically, every pattern, every graph will have some or other equation in which one dependent variable is there and that may depends on one or more independent variables. For an example, I'm having a speech signal, which is a function of acoustic pressure. So, depending upon the acoustic pressure that you are applying, different tones are generated. So, this much of information is sufficient enough to define a signal. Okay. In the end, I will summarize. Signals are nothing but a specific pattern containing information. And secondly, every graph, every pattern can be mathematically considered as an equation in which one variable may depends on one or more independent variables. Thank you.